Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. What I have here is a good old Pratt number 105 push drill. First catalog listing was in 1901 and then it was modified in 1907 with a fully knurled chuck. So this is a 1907 model. I don't know exactly when it was produced. They were producing them right on up to the 30s. This is an eighth inch drill bit. Tuck came a little loose there. Does a nice job of drilling holes. Straight down through. I did sharpen the drill bit. It is a little bit sharper point than an average drill bit. Average drill bit's a 89. And this one is about maybe a 70. Okay, and we got the pilot holes drilled. Let's try drilling, let's try driving some screws. This is a modified Yankee screwdriver bit. I had to cut a little tang on the end here so that it would engage the chuck. Now some practice, I'm sure I get better at this. The idea is when you push down on the drill, it forces this shaft up into this collet. And there's a split collet in there that engages this shaft when you push on it. When you pull, it pulls it out of that collet and lets it retract. Now to do the reverse, You loosen this one and tighten the other one and now the other screw works the same way. It still pulls loose out of the collet and lets you pull the screw out. This is a number eight screw and it goes into an eighth inch hole. Just fine. Gives it a shank clearance. Probably should have step drilled that. I should have probably drilled it uh, eighth inch shank and 
maybe 330 seconds diameter pilot hole. But you get the idea. So these two good L Pratt's are actually a good pair. Drill pilot holes, drive screws. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.